close enough. <laughs> I'm Katie, uh, Carly's roommate, wife, all that jazz. Um, <laughs> she asked me to do a poem, so I'm going to. It was like a dream. The ones you can still taste on your lips after you, after you shake yourself from the recesses of your mind. Slow motion and gone too soon. When I woke up from our make-believe love, love song, I started grasping for details. My mind was fogged, but still crowded with images of your face and the sound of your heartbeat when you sleep. I was hoping desperately I could keep your breath in my pockets, folded into small replicas of the trinkets I used to make you, but I was foolish. You still slipped through my tiptoe grasp like smoke between small fingers. I'm scared, you whispered in muffled gasps, obscured by your pillow talk stare and f stare. Flawed, you said. I could feel your self-loathing on, your, on my skin, and all I wanted was you. You and your broken, self-centered, cried-for-help, bleeding heart. I screamed your name until I was blue in the chest, but you were singing something else. Eyes to the sky and ears to the birds. You didn't want to hear the days when you laughed. Baby, you're better than this, because I was, and you knew it. My dignity decided to leave. Decided to leave when I started screaming like a small child and through tears yelled, I ain't nobody's darling. Because my heart was past broken then. It was dust and other small objects I kept in a Ziploc labeled, what was left? And really, who loves dust? At points I thought someone had come to save me, come with rose colored thread to stitch me up tip to tip and tell me I was pretty. Tell me that even love and a steady sewing hand can put back together dust. But I got scared. I didn't like needles. And besides, I'd never seen your embroidery, so I ran. Thank you.